Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. And today we're heading back to Normandy for another game of bolt action. All right, so this will be our third uh, Normandy game in a row. Uh, it turned, it what started as a Normandy D-Day game has turned into Normandy D-Day month. And the main reason for that is we got some new buildings, and these are these MicroArt Studio farm buildings here, which I did a video on recently. Super awesome, pre-painted stuff. In fact, everything on the board is. Uh, micro art studio as far as the buildings go so awesome stuff i would definitely check them out i'll put a link in the description for them uh, as, as well as the uh, rest of our sponsors so yeah it'll be 21st panzer versus darby's rangers and a custom mission uh, from our friends at bolt action alliance and speaking of sponsors make sure you go check out kick-ass mail order they're a mail order uh, company hobby company with tons of 28 mil historical stuff as well as a lot of other stuff as well for many other games terrain minis you name it they got it check out the description tell them we sent you and our friend uh, chris over at panacea prints he does uh, very high quality resin 3d printing and a lot of the stuff that he does is hard to find uh, stuff you might find in the books but not anywhere online he might have it so check him out okay terrain uh, our map tonight is the new europe 2 mat by cigar box battle um, this is a uh, this mat is a farm mat, obviously. It's got roads built in. Everything is printed on it. Uh, very high quality stuff and great for any kind of uh, rural farming mat or battle that you want to fight. Uh, so check them out in the description as well. All right, so game-wise, uh, we're Normandy, so we're going to have hedges. These hedges are going to be 2-inch visibility, soft cover. And that's really the only dense terrain. There's no dense terrain with trees only. So it's pretty much the all the line of sight blocking terrain is going to be mostly hedges. We also have... All of our buildings these are all going to be hardcover buildings and then there's quite a few walls there's some stone walls around this farm compound there's some stone walls around the restaurant those are going to be hardcover we have a few wooden walls around uh, behind the garage here soft cover oh, i forgot we just got some stone walls there and we've got some stone walls over there so should be fairly even as far as hardcover goes based on the mission that we're going to be playing which we'll talk about in a minute and i think that's it for train so let's talk about the mission the mission is called Pincer Movement. This is a brand new one from Brad over at Bolt Action Alliance. Uh, he sent me a preview copy of it, and we're going to try it out as we love all of the Bolt Action Alliance missions. So this one's a lot different as far as deployment goes. Uh, so the way this is going to work, we're going to roll off, see who's attacker defender. Defender is going to pick a table edge, and then they're going to deploy within an 18-inch radius of the center of that board. So if we pick this edge, they would deploy in an 18-inch area from that center point half of their force the rest would be in reserve meanwhile the attacker would deploy 18 inch radius from the either corner so could they could deploy half their force in either corner fully or they can deploy half their force in both so they can be on both sides of the defender um, and they're also going to deploy half um, let's see here what else we got the objective is to capture the most objectives and there's predetermined objective placement there's one in the center and then there's one 12 inches that side of it, one 12 inches this side of it. And the objective is simply to hold the most objectives at the end of the game. And one other thing that's a little bit different is in the first turn, only the dice that are on the board are going to be in the bag. So there's not going to be any of that down dance that we usually do as far as putting stuff in reserve down. So it uh, should be interesting. Uh, we can be spread out across the board and reserves obviously can come in anywhere along the player's table edge. So should be an interesting game let's go ahead and look at the forces all right starting off with the germans we're going to have a 1066 point force 10 order dice this is from the 21st panzer division panzer grenadier d-day selector so starting up here we have uh, lieutenant lankowski and man with assault rifles they are regular they're going to have two regular grenadier squads they're nine men lmg two panzer faust uh, or assault rifle sergeant and two extra assault rifles. First one's going to be commanded by Kopke. Second one's going to be commanded by Bruder. We have a green grenadier squad, 10 men, full strength, uh, mostly rifles. There's one SMG sergeant and an LMG and one Panzerfaust. We're going to have one veteran pioneer squad. That's going to be commanded by Leech. Six men, SMGs, flamethrower, one Panzerfaust. We have a regular pack 40. All this stuff's going to be regular. We're going to have a heavy field car. We're going to have the uh, 8 rad SDKFZ 231 fully enclosed 
armored car dual direction steering auto cannon coax machine gun these are pretty good uh, next up we're going to have a uh, SF39H assault gun and it's downgraded quote minus points to add a howitzer which is better than the gun it originally came with but I don't, know, I don't think that's the exact correct model so it's going to be a proxy of a assault gun it's an 8 plus open topped equal thickness I just saw that I don't know what that means but uh, it's an open topped medium howitzer and then lastly we're going to have a stummel uh, this is the version that can carry guys the S or I'm sorry yeah S D K F Z 2519 I think it can haul eight dudes but it's got a forward facing light howitzer seven plus open topped and that is the German force next up we have our Americans these are Darby's Rangers from the uh, US sectors book I believe 10 order dice 1068 points um, there's one issue that I don't know quite the answer to yet, but hopefully we'll figure out before the game starts. But starting out here, we're going to have uh, Lieutenant Dan, Dan Klain. Uh These guys are all veteran on this side. Uh, he's a captain, so a ranger captain, which is really nice being able to start off with a captain right away. Skip over the lieutenant tax. Uh, he's armed with an SMG. We're going to have three mid-war ranger assault sections. These are eight guys, all identical. It's going to be five rifles. SMG sergeant, extra SMG guy, and a BAR, veterans. Um, we're also going to have a Ranger light mortar team or section. It's called a mortar section. It's two guys with a light mortar plus one extra guy, so essentially it's a three man light mortar team. We're going to have a Ranger bazooka. And then over here we have everything over here, I believe, is regular. We have a regular medium artillery piece with spotter and gun shield. We're going to have an M3 75mm GMC. It's a half track 7 plus uh, hole mounted medium anti tank gun. So it's essentially a, a Sherman gun on it. So it has the 2 inch template. And then we're going to have a Sherman 75mm uh, as well, M4A1. And it's just regular. So regular Sherman 75mm half track, and then a bunch of Rangers. So there's a couple special rules. I believe only half of these guys can um, can do the ranger move based on the based on easy army. And the last thing, the tenth dice is an intelligence officer, which it says it has to be attached to an officer. So I'm unclear on how that works. Uh, he's supposed to get a dice, obviously, because you pay the 40 points. But if he's attached, how does that work? So I've asked the question. Hopefully, it gets answered before the game. But for now, he's just going to be here. Uh, his main function is that once during the game, he rolls a d6, he gets a plus one for being a veteran, and if he rolls a four plus, he can choose the first dice to come out of the bag. So when that turn comes around, that it's absolutely essential that you get the first die, that's what he's there for. So he's got an SMG, he's just detached uh, to claim. So his, uh, that is Decalone. Then we have Wallace, Thornhill, Shea, Horton, Stevens. Andrew Cox and Dignan in the uh, in the Sherman. So that's it for the Americans. And today will be Steve versus Andre. So when they get here, we'll get started. Andre and Steve have arrived. Andre is the Americans. Steve's going to be the Germans. Uh, Andre won the roll off, so he picked attacker, which meant Steve picked the side. He picked this side. So he's in an 18-inch bubble from here, and he's deployed half his force. He's got his Pack 40 over here behind the uh, farm barnyard area covering that section and in the middle he has the green squad here that's Lee, uh, McInnes and his squad and he's got the regular squad here with Bruder Lankowski and then he has his howitzer tank here so that's half of his units and Andre is deployed on both edges so he's got his uh, mortar team there he's got his bazooka back here and over here he has, who is that, uh, that's the gray one. Sorry, I'm reading my thing here. Thornhill. So that's Thornhill. Uh, he did a ranger move with Thornhill. He ran up to the uh, wall here by the restaurant. That was one of his two ranger moves. And he also has a howitzer there. And the spotter was, where's your spotter at, Andre? Tucked up in there. 
And then lastly, he has the black base here, which is Wallace. Wallace did a ranger move as well. He ran from within his deployment zone up there behind the wall and behind the stables. And he is staying out of line of sight of the Pack 40. And that's the setup. So Andre will be Bagman since he's on that side of the table. And the first die will be a German die. So the first thing was Pack 40 went on ambush. And another German die. All right, so uh, Steve has run the green squad under McInnes up to the wall there by the uh, farmyard. And next die, Andre. It's one of Andre's. So Andre, uh, he moved the mortar under Horton. It's light mortar, can advance and fire. He's got within range, barely, but he is in range. So he's going to fire the light mortar here at these boys. Needing a six. Yeah! That's a one. Yeah. He's so starting close. the process. So though. close. They are hidden, but he ignores hidden, so with indirect fire. Another American die. Andre had uh, Sergeant Thornhill advance into the courtyard of the restaurant here. Uh, he's staying out of line of sight of that howitzer tank there. It's one of Steve's. Steve had Bruder run over towards the restaurant, so he's out of the uh, arc of fire and ranging in of the mortar. And it's one of Andre's. Andre's had the bazooka run around the hedge up to the front of the restaurant. Next die is one of Steve's. Steve had his howitzer tank pivot moved up nine and he's going to try to take out the rangers in the courtyard needing a six. Oh, Same as Andre. It's a one. So it's a miss. A near, a near hit. A near hit. <laughs> Just get the low die, low rolls out of the way. It's one of Andre's. Wallace, uh, Andre had them just advance, no negative modifier for moving, so he just rearranged a little bit to get more guys in line of sight. He's going to fire at the green troops. What do you say, sixes? So we're rolling in the courtyard, rolling. even though we didn't roll into the courtyard. Yeah, he didn't roll in because <laughs> of the pack right? 40. Hardcover. Long range hardcover, needing sixes. Oh, shit. Two. Two hits, all right. I think Andre rolls these. I think, yeah, you do. I know that. I know he does. Needing threes because they're inexperienced. Fours. So two dead. But they might advance to veterans. Yeah, so point. they're green, so they took a casualty and a pin. So two up and they're veterans. <laughs> I can't remember what didn't you need. A five. Five that's, that probably does. That's got to be good, right? We'll double check, but they are going to probably go up and they're going to take a pin. pin. Travis, I don't need two. We got two. Okay. <laughs> we'll look up the green thing and then we'll we'll pull the next die real quick and then we'll we'll do it all at once. It's another one of Andres. They're going to go uh, regular. And Andre, what were you going to do? You had the howitzer. I got right? the howitzer can uh, target something. So your spotter's here. Yep. So you should be able to see them. I can see, well, actually. In the tank. Although I can also see, uh, or it has to be the spotter or the Or the gun. gun, yeah. So. I don't think the spotter can see them through this. No. The gun cannot see anything direct. Anymore. <laughs> not anymore, yeah. And then, so yeah, you got a choice of indirect fire on one of these two units. I guess these guys, would, well, I'm assuming they're going to... They already went. They can't go down. But, oh, you well, mean move again? Yeah. But then, same thing over there, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So infantry? Infantry. Yeah, no, another one, one. He took a guy out in, in the process. <laughs> so it's another. And it was a Panzerfaust. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. I think that's it for turn one. Right? Uh, no, Steve's still got to die. Oh, he's got Lankowski. Oh, yeah. Okay. Last dice of the turn, Steve just had Lankowski hop over the hedge, and now we're going to put all the dice in the bag and move on to turn two. Okay, Andre, turn two. And the winner is... Oh, I forgot to ask if you wanted to do... Oh, you don't have him on the table. His intelligence officer is not on the table yet. But at some point in this game, Andre is going to have the chance to get the first die. Right now, totally not necessary. <laughs> but he did pull the first die anyway of this turn. Give me a suggestion. Yeah, Andre is going to... Well, I knew kick. I was shooting over here. <laughs> He's going to kick off turn two with the howitzer again. Firing over here at Bruder's boys. Needing a five this time. And I got it. 
That's not good, Steve. Should have went down. That's a three inch template. So that'll be six of them. <laughs> six of them at plus three. And they're regulars, so anything but. Oh, those were veterans. Nope, they're regulars. You get a whole list of veterans, and I've got regulars. You're a German. <laughs> Regular and green. No, you got some veterans. You're uh, pioneers. Yeah, you or got veterans. some green guys. Tank. You got. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's just. <laughs> <a hard person. laughs> I got a greyhound. Okay. Germans were depleted by this time. Definitely. Yeah, uh, also, but there's one but. So roll that six again. Nope. So five dead. D six pins. Or D3 pins, probably. Oof, that's six. Okay, I'll figure it out. All right, D3 pins. He got three pins, so you got to do a morale test, Steve, because you lost half I'm your unit. Demoralized, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> These morale. That's understandable. So they're regulars, minus three. They're yeah, gone. they're dead. Wow. So the artillery under Fred Stevens is wiped out Bruder. One shot, and then the next die belongs to Steve. Oh, no. no, I'm sorry, that came out of the bag for Bruder. Now the next die will come out. And it's one of Andre's. Okay, Andre's second dice is going to have Wallace fire again at these guys. Steve went down, which means Andre's needing sevens. Not even close. So nothing. So yeah, these guys, the regular troops now under McKinnis have gone down. So next day. It's another American die. The uh, Sherman, commanded by Dignan, has come in over here. And he's going to fire at the howitzer tank of the Germans. Moved, it is long range. Needing so a need five. five. Side shot. It's no. a three. Whew. That's a good, that's good for Steve. <laughs> Losing that and the squad in the same turn would have been pretty crap. And there's one of Steve's. So Steve's going to back the... He backed the howitzer tank into the orchard. He's going to fire again over here at Thornhill, but needing a six. Oh, no, it's a three. Halfway there. Andre took a big risk not going down in that one. <laughs> <laughs> They're veterans. They know the game. Another one of Steve's. This dice, Steve, uh, the Eat Rad passed the order to come in, and he's run up along the very far edge up here behind, uh, who is that, uh, Wallace's squad. He ran, though, so he can't fire. But he's there next day. Oh, American die. So Andre had uh, the uh, mortar under Horton just advance up. And he tried to fire at these guys here, but he was out of range. And then he decided not to pop smoke. Pull another die, it's an American dice. Andre has passed the order for Lieutenant Dan and uh, Intel Officer Decalone to come in. They just run him up there in that field by the garage. Next die is another German die. Steve just had Lankowski advance up a little bit along the hedge up behind those guys a little bit. And next die. Another German. He brought his stumble in. It's empty. No dur hammer in it. And he is going to do a direct fire shot onto the mortar. So it'll be long range. Moved. In the five. Need the five. Come on. Man, no one can hit anything except the howitzer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so direct fire shot means no ranging in. Next day. Americans brought his uh, howitzer or medium AT gun half track in so it's a two inch template he's come in over there behind the garage uh, he does have a line of sight through here at these guys who are down so it's moved they are yeah they went down a while oh, ago man that so moved down I screwed that up sixes needing a six not a six. Boy, it's threes and less for almost every roll. Wow, so did I game. screw that up. <laughs> you didn't realize they were down? Yeah. So it's a good thing you went down, Steve. You just suckered Andre into 
not taking out your armor car. Down. <laughs> Put everyone down. And great, I get the next die. Another one, and Andre does not want the next die. As he's. I've got three more in the bag, though. So you got one here, one there, and then you got, oh, three more in. Three and, okay. Um, oh, that's go. right. The, the intelligence officer. The intelligence officer. We can't figure out how they all Talk to his officer. <laughs> It's a way to the lieutenant will uh, chat with the captain. It's an onboard down order, <laughs> or like up that when the uh, reserve down dance, it's one on the board. Hey, there we go, another American die. Now Andre's gonna have to do something. Andre's run Sergeant Shea up there into that field with everything else. He's got his officer, he's got his half track, and now Shea. So, next day. And they're in a good spot because they're line of sight. Another green die, which Andre does not want to see because he's down to his bazooka and these guys, which he's been reluctant to move. Mainly because Steve still has their hammer off the board in a heavy field car and another squad. So we'll see what Andre does here. Okay, Andre has decided to put... Who is this here? Thornhill down. I'm not down. No. On ambush. <laughs> down <laughs> for the ambush. ambush. He's down for an ambush. And then uh, another one of Steve's. Steve has uh, tried to bring in Cocky. Squad off the board. They failed. Next day. It's another one of Steve's. So he's got their hammer left. Uh, under a leech. And they're in a field car. You've attempted to bring in their hammer in the field car and they failed again. So that's two fails in a row for Steve. So I'll pull sure. the next die. Oh, I now there's still two dice left. Oh. And the next one is yours, which is their hammer. So those go down, right? Yep. So the last one will be Andre's. And that's the bazooka team. All right, so here we have uh, the, you know, five. the bazooka has advanced to the other side of the restaurant. He's got within line of sight of both of these vehicles. This one's in the orchard, so in light cover, but he's gonna take a shot at the Stummel. Needing a five. Oh, it's a hit. Stummel's hit. Wow. Okay, so it's gonna be a plus five against, I think it's only a seven. So anything but. Uh, it's a you but. Roll that again. Uh, Steve, I was gonna say, Steve, being a good sport, he said he could roll it again. He's, he's saying that, but I would say it's cocked, but I'd be pissed it's if not that any, was a six and you told me to re-roll it. <laughs> it's not any different than a normal. It just happens to be on a model. Yeah. So Andre's going to be going to outdo Steve's sportsmanship and accept the one. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for dice. Because, I mean, it's, it's in there solid. Yeah. That's, that was a solid okay. one. Yeah. There's no reason to re-roll it. If that, that. would have been leaning against that, we would have taken it as well. Not that I wouldn't. I mean, I'm not trying to just balance the game here, but... Uh, nope. That so that was legit. Okay, so you needed anything but you got a butt, so it's just nothing but a pin. So and he's out of the game for the rest of the. Uh, yeah, <laughs> now he'll never pass an order. No thanks to Andre's good sportsmanship, the dice gods will curse Steve's stumble to fail the one pin order for the rest of eternity. Okay, and then see if I can come off ambush yes. over here. Yep. He does yeah. not. Okay. He was going to attempt to put another pin on it with that squad. But he failed, and that'll be it for turn two. All right, turn three. Uh, Andre's going to leave this squad on ambush. Steve's leaving the pack 40 on ambush. So they're each at uh, nine dice. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Steve lost a dice already, so he's at eight. So go ahead, Andre. Well, I'm trying to think, is this the time I want to try and pull the first die? Oh, to use the intelligence officer. Olivier? Well, let Andre think about it. I think, I think it is. You are going to do that. Yeah. This soon? Okay. So on a three plus, because he's a veteran, Andre gets the guaranteed first die of the game. No. <laughs> he rolls a two. Perfect. You take his die out now, right? <laughs> no. It stays in there. You pay 40 points for that one roll. You should at least get to keep the die in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's one of Steve's. Steve, pass the order with the stummel. He's going to machine gun these guys needing sixes. Small team. Yeah. And he got nothing anyway. A five. So now the damn thing. That was a waste of the first die. That was a waste That's of the first sad. die. Next die. Next first die. It's Andre's. Plus has advanced around. A little scared of that armored car back there. He came around here in front of the stables. 
He is going to fire at these guys. Seven's up there right now. Oh! oh, he got one. Another pin. Shit. And they're regular now, so needing a four. Got oh one. Oh my gosh. Brute, or, uh, Wallace and the boys. Someone wow. There's, someone there's a good shot. Somebody was a little slow ducking. <laughs> they're still kind of impressed that they made it to regular. They, <laughs> they don't know what to do. <laughs> we're regular so now. we're regulars now. Do we automatically duck or do we have to ask permission now? <laughs> now that we're not scared, what do we do? <laughs> it cost somebody their life. Next die. It's one of Steve's. The armored so cars have? come around. He is going to fire here at Wallace's squad. Are you using the auto cannon? Auto cannon. Auto cannon. So light auto cannons, two shots, one inch templates, needing threes because you move, but you're point blank. No, I think we agreed there's five guys and two one inch templates. Yeah, well, I would think so. Because the base is one inch, right? Yeah. yeah. So if these guys are less than two inches apart, then you can get all five. And they are. Okay. So two shots. Needing threes. He's got them. He's got five of five Rangers. Plus so two, right? No, plus one. So still need fours to kill. Yeah, I killed two. Two dead. All right. And I believe it's only D2 pins on a one inch template. One pin. So two dead and a pin. Ouch. So finally some American guys, this is the first American casualties of the game so far. Next die, two riflemen were killed, another one of Steve's. If he jump on the other hit. side of the fence. He, could, he I don't think he could have, but he advanced to Lankowski, I think that was his full advance, six inches to the wall, but he's just shy of um, those guys out there. With he, he sprays down my squad with the uh, assault rifles and all the bullets <laughs> just land at our feet. <laughs> yeah, they just drop out of the air once they get to 18 inches. <laughs> Next die, Andre. Hey, hey look Americans. at these. Andre has moved his, how or his AT half track up here. Pivoted. Now he has line of sight on the armored car. And that thing has a medium AT gun on it, so just moved. So needing a four. <laughs> it bounced off the tree Re and became a two. <laughs> Reroll. <laughs> Wait, if you would have bounced off him in the four, you would have been you would have took it. No, no. We've gone I, over I, 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 you I, I could it. not have taken that uh, in good conscience. <laughs> so the AT half track has missed uh, the armored car. I think good thing for Steve. So next die, Andre. It's another one of the uh, another one of Andre's. Horton and his mortar have advanced up, and they're going to fire at these guys who are down. Oh, but it, it doesn't matter. He got him. So one inch four template. Inch. <laughs> four inch, yeah. Yeah, light mortar four inch templates, one inch. So that's three. Three guys, so half of that. So one. One. <laughs> <laughs> and they're regular now. So need the uh, three. Oh wow. Doesn't kill anyone, but you get D two pins. Pin. One pin. So nothing wow. but a pin. Okay, well. We're ranged in. We are ranged in. Yeah. Next Other time. than that, it really sucked, but... <laughs> At least you're ranged in. Yeah. And in the open. At least you're in the open now. <laughs> Another one of Steve's. No, I'm not. I've got cover from these guys. <laughs> Gonna try to do a direct shot with Sooner the howitzer. Later. Come on. Sooner you got your due for a good hit here. Oh, oh not this way. Man. Did you guys hear that shot so, just go over our heads? So we'll try it over, man. Yeah, Sound like so a scared. one one over the bow. It's one what of Andre's. Or no, it's one of Steve's, I'm sorry. So Steve attempted to bring in the last regular squad, which was Kopke, and they again failed. Alright. And another one of Steve's. We're gonna bring in the flamethrower. Alright, their hammer in the car. Will they come in? Yes. yes. They will come in. So Durhammer did come in, and Steve is ignoring this squad. He That's zoomed around, advice of my lawyer. and he's going to go for the objective. That's the smart thing to do. Yeah, it's very enticing to go after these guys, but all the objectives are over here. So the next dice is Andre's. Okay, Andre's going to, he's got a new target. He's going to have the bazooka fire, hey, look. fire at these boys. Hey, the one down. <laughs> 
Oh, he's still checking. Let me check. I was going to make an argument for uh, half of it's in cover. Mm, no, I don't think so. If you were, yeah, no. He's got a direct line of sight to you. So, four up. Zuka. It's oh. a five. Oh, no. That's not good. That's a like a plus five against a six. So, anything but again, Andre. Yep, oh, it's, it's not a butt. I tried to butt. So it's a penetrating hit, so on a four plus. Ah, uh, not a, it's nothing but. So it's a one, which means two pins on the guys inside. X die. That's, that's oh, it. That's all the dice? That's all of Steve's. Okay. Oh shit, <laughs> Andre's got five left. All right. The dice are back in the bag. These guys can get out if they pass an order. And it's one of Andre's. The first thing, or Andre's gonna have his howitzer via the spotter fire at the tank. The howitzer tank here. Is it a six? I can't see it. No. Oh! Uh, it's, not, it's a miss. It was a four. It's a whiff. So we don't have to try to figure out what the penetration would be. <laughs> 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 Makes it easy. And you just whip. Okay, that's another one of Andre's. Sherman has uh, advanced up there, Dignan and his boys, and they're going to fire at, which one are you shooting at here? The uh, one in the open. Stummel. Eating a four. That's a five. It's a hit. So he's got within point, or not point blank, <laughs> close 30 inches, I believe. So that means he does not lose the minus one for long range. There's your 30. Okay, so I believe it's a plus five against seven. Yeah, yeah that's uh, going to be a double pen. And it's destroyed. Vehicle destroyed. Stumble is dead. Digna is taking out the Stumble. Shit anyway, so good riddance. Yeah, well, we, figured, we found out from one of our live stream viewers that he could have fired the gun and the machine gun because it's pinnel, so... Maybe that's why he died. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even understand his own weapon system. He served to die. Okay. <laughs> Another one of Andre's. So it's it looks like he's going to be moving those boys up. What? Who is that? Oh, that's Shea. Uh, Sergeant Shea is moving up there to the hedge. Shea's uh, squad is going to fire over here at these guys. McKinnis. Uh, needing six sixes. Down, uh, long no range, sixes. no sixes. So it's just a miss. Wow. Okay, next time. Hmm. So Steve's got one left in the bag, which is Durhammer. Dur Dur Hammer. Is, okay. The Durhammer six, six under uh, Leech has gotten out. They still have one pin. They're more than two inches behind the head, so they're, for now, blocked this way. He's going to fire at the bazooka bed, needing sevens. One possible. Look at all those fives. That would have been a good roll any other day. If you didn't have that pin on you. Actually, you might have needed more than that. Nope. <sighs> so close. Nothing. Nothing but a nothing. And the rest are probably Andre's, which he's got two left, which is his officer and his intelligence and officer. And since she didn't come up against the hedge. Um... So he'll just move Lieutenant Dan and Olivier up to the hedge. And that'll do it for turn three. Okay, top of turn four, Andre is still full dice. He's down two. The stumble in one squad. First die of the game, or turn, is uh, American die. Well, first thing Andre did, he's going to act, or I kept calling him Lieutenant Dan. He's not a lieutenant, he's a captain. Captain, captain Dan. Dan. He's going to activate himself and three other units. So first up, Shea is going to hop the hedge. And they're going to fire over here at uh, McKinnis. He's going to go down again. He's just out of range with the SMG, so it's just going to be the five rifles and the BAR. And what, long range? Actually, the BAR is not long range. You probably should have ruled that separate. The rifles are long range. Long range down. What'd you get? Let's see if we can I didn't roll any sixes. Okay. So, so you needed a six all misses. For the rifles. You needed a six for the rifles. Five. five. I only rolled one five. We'll say that probably wasn't the BAR. 
Although it is yellow dice. Roll 50-50. Roll 50-50. <laughs> yeah. Or it's not a 50-50. It's... Okay, roll a D6. It's like a if one out of one, six. If, roll a D6. A, if it's a okay. one, it's a BAR. Okay. Yeah. On a one. No. On a one. I think we're saying 50-50. All right, whatever. He <laughs> I missed. said 50 He said it's not. He said it's five to one. So I said, okay, roll a D6. <laughs> All right, so that's one of the Never tell that... Travis the odds. <laughs> yeah, never. We know this. Okay. So that's um, the first thing that was Captain that. Dan did. Okay. Um, What's next? Next. Two more things for Captain Dan here. We'll let Andre think about it. Well, so Captain Dan himself is just going to stay put. He's got a 12-inch range, so Andre's just, he's happy with his range. He can run back and capture that back objective. So since he wreckied, do I get to... Uh find a different target I don't think so no. that was your target so he's gonna have he was gonna fire at the armored car Steve decided to wreck you with his dual direction steering got back behind the, the stables again so yeah that's it so I him. don't get to move or anything I just that's it that's what you were gonna do that's all so he's got one more thing left which is gonna be either the mortar or the Sherman 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 he's a Sherman digging in advance up he's gonna right. dual machine gun Dur hammer and Steve's not going down, so he's needing fives with cover. Whoa, man. Look at that, Steve. He's a fortune, or he's a, he's a mind reader or whatever. What? <laughs> no fives. And here I was wondering why he wasn't going to go down to make it sevens. Obviously, he well, it's knew. It's turn four. If I stay down for the whole game, you just can't accomplish anything. So it's like, just take your chance. Come and get it. And it paid if you off. don't try and be lucky, you're never going to be lucky. Yeah. Wow. And it's Andre's favorite quote, better to be lucky than good. Uh, so that's everything for Captain Dan. So next, so that's four dice wow. at once there for, for Andre. It's almost half his dice. So next up, to no surprise, it's one of Steve's. Steve has passed the order with their hammer. They're pin free because Andre whipped on that last roll. That's what you get for missing that. That was a big roll. This could, that could be a big, that could be the end of the Sherman. But oh, it that. could have been the end of the Sherman anyway, but I <laughs> felt a lot better about it with them having a pin on him. Yeah, so he's gonna first fire off, fire the Panzerfaust at the Sherman, needing a three. There we go, that's a hit. Okay, roll it, I think it's a plus six. Oh. Yeah, that's a penetrating hit on the Sherman. Double pen. You got a 12 against 9. On a 4 up. Yeah, Sherman destroyed. Wow, nice shot. Nice shot by the Panzerfaust. He just brewed up the Sherman. And you still got a flamethrower here. Flamethrower on the... Okay, you in range? I'm sure it's in range. It's not in range. Oh, it's in range right now. It's in range right there. <laughs> <laughs> got the extra range on this one. All right, we'll shoot them with whatever we got left. Three SMGs. Three SMGs. Long yep. range. Uh, yeah, Two long range, hard cover, it's be sevens. Small team. One possible. Nope. nope. Well, at least you killed the Sherman. Yeah, that's, that's a nice that's little uh, feather in your cap. Uh, have a die. <laughs> okay, next dice, Andre. It's a good job for your hammer. The one Panzerfaust and Durhammer took out the Sherman, which is awesome. Another one of Steve's. Uh, Steve has uh, the howitzer tank is advanced up. He's rotated. And he now has Shay's squad in his sights. He's going to fire over these guys. Uh, needing a five moved. So I'll cover. And it's not a five. The uh, good luck has ended. Dice gods gave him a little taste of it and took it away, and it's another one of German or another one of Andres. All right, Andres passed his order with Wallace, and he's run him out of the uh, farmyard there, uh, just over towards the middle objective. Next guy. So one of Steve. So what do you got left, Steve? You got uh, you still got a squad off the board, cocky. Got all kinds of stuff. Okay. <laughs> he rallied the the truck, so he's pin free now with the truck. And another American die. Andre is going to have uh, Horton and his mortar fire again. Over here, these boys already ranged in, so I need to do anything, but he's got it. So again, it'll be one guy because they're down. Plus one, even a three. Don't you want to see if you kill the guy? You just did, right? 
He rolled the hit, he never rolled the oh, wound. I thought that was the wound. He does get a dead. He does kill one. And then D2 pins, Andre. One pin. So another pin and a pin. dead guy. And then another one of Andre's. Andre's got to have the bazooka fire at this thing. Uh, hard cover from the building. We don't even know the name of it, we just call it the thing. <laughs> the it's thing. a mess anyway. I don't even, I forgot what it's called. It's got a bunch of letters and numbers. It's called the Sacre Bleu. Another one of Andre's, yeah, it's kind of, it's some kind of French, it's a French tank that the Germans converted. Part, part of the 20, 21st Panzer. Oh, uh, you still got that whole squad it's out got there. got squad off the board. Copies yet to come on the board. So what do you got left? You still got your howitzer over there. His officer's on ambush. And then he's got Thornhill's boys over here. So Fred Stevens and his howitzer have just advanced up to the hedge. Now that they have line of sight on the pack 40, another one of Andre's. He's going to have the intelligence officer Olivier fire at these guys. So this is the rare case where he's attached to somebody but can do something. I think. We, don't, we still don't know. But he, well, never mind. He's out well, of range anyway. But he had, uh, um, as modeled, right? Yeah. So modeled with rifles. <laughs> no, he's modeled with an SMG, really. Where? The officer? Yeah. Or the other guy in the, the officer? The other officer. Yeah, he's out of the SMG. Lieutenant. Yeah, the lieutenant's got an SMG. They show me the uh, show me the SMG. It's on the model. <laughs> show me the up, model. Pick it up and look at it. <laughs> WYSIWYG. Well, this is this is the captain. Yeah, and that's that's the other dude. Oh, the captain's all by himself. He's not a two-man team. No, he he doesn't have an extra guy. His extra guy is the officer. <laughs> yeah, he's just making shit up now. No, I'll okay, show you, I'll show you the list. <laughs> hey, look, I get to go again. Shit. Okay, so what do you have left? You got Thornhill. Well, I wanted to bring Thornhill around that way, but that's not happening now. So that's your last dice? Yeah, so okay. Thornhill's got to come this way now. Okay. He's going to have Thornhill just move up here along this, prepare for an assault. He's going to put a pin on that. Okay, he's got a pin on it. <laughs> Can't kill it, but he did put a pin on it. And now he's in position to run out of there and assault that thing next turn. So next day. That thing. Whatever it is, <laughs> I still don't get, can't figure out what it's called. <laughs> uh, oh, and the rest are all Steves. So what does that leave Steve? He leaves Kopke uh, off the board. Pack 40. Still got Lankowski, and he's got the Pack 40. He's gonna have the Pack 40 fire over there at Wallace. No, we're not needing an order die. Got an ambush. <laughs> <laughs> he's back on ambush. He got him. Oh, oh, no, he's he on ambush. <laughs> hey, that's a, he got four of those guys with the two-inch template with the Pack 40. Pretty epic. Plus two, needing threes. Uh, all dead. Four dead. Four dead. Wow. That's a. Uh, finally did something. D three pins. It's a good job on the pack forty. So D three pins, Steve. Three pins. Three pins. Wow. Damn. That was a nice shot by the pack forty. And he passes his morale test. But he's down to Wallace and a BAR. That's three all we pins. need to claim an uh, objective. Wait, you lost four dudes. How do you? How are you already down to two guys? Did you lose? You lost a couple. From oh, the, that's right, the, from the armored car. The okay, next die, Andre. Oh, I got it. Okay, oh, and it's a gray die. Steve's got two more. Okay. Okay, so the last two die. First thing Steve did, he just moved uh, Lankowski over. He's got within range of his objective, and then Kopke finally came in, and he ran in up here and just in the open here next to all these guys going for the objective and that's it for turn four okay here we go top of five first die germans sweet okay their hammer has come around sadly the flamer is like an eighth of an inch shy but he does have a bunch of smgs and one rifle he's going to fire o over here at um shea so the yellows are needing twos everything else is needing so you have four SMGs in there, right? Yeah. Okay. Everything else is needed. Four. Okay, so that's... Uh, One, two, three, four, five. Six. six hits. Six hits on these guys. Uh, they're veterans, so... Needing, uh, needing fives. Two mm. dead. Two dead and a pin. 
two rifles. That's one of those are your VAR. So two rifles will come out. And a pin. Oh shit, I probably could have assaulted him too. Yeah, yeah then, but then he would have got to shoot at you on the way in. Yeah, good point. Alright, so next die. So another German. So the uh, 8 rad has come around, he's going to fire at the AT half track, he needs a 4s. Oh yeah, no, a four. he got a 4. Uh, if you combine whoops. them, that's not good. It's one of Andre's. So Andrew Cox and the half track have uh, pivoted, it was just slightly out of arc for these guys. But he does want to fire at Kopke, so he's rotated, needing a 4. No! Oh, it's a mess. <laughs> Steve's uh, epitomizing the they might miss strategy. <laughs> Which has worked out it's pretty well so far. It's working really well. <laughs> Another one of Andre's. All right, Andre pass the order with Shea. They're salt and hammer. And Andre goes first because they're in the open. So two tough fighters needing fives. He's got Shit. one. Oh, no. Unbelievable. So that that's probably going to be your. Are you going to take out your rifle, Steve? So that'd yes. be your assistant from your flamer. So he'll be a minus one to hit for the rest uh, of the game. But you're going to have four tough fighters to try to get four of the same color dice, and then <laughs> one non tough one non tough fighter being the guy with the flamethrower. So you're going to have five dice, four of them tough fighters. And just roll them right in this area here. All you need is two. Yeah, they're done. <sighs> yep. Shea has been taken out by Der Hammer, who's so far the MVP of the Germans by far. MVP? <laughs> so far. He's the all... only ones that have done anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. MVP. Well, <laughs> and at least I can uh, write that one off to my own stupidity because I didn't fire my uh, uh... SMGs first. So a uh, consolidation move there, Steve. You can do a D6 consolidation move if you like. Or I think you have to, don't you? For hammer, uh, two inch consolidation, Steve just kind of rearranged a little bit. The so Shea is gone and stir hammer in the middle of the mortar and the officer back there. Next die. There's an American dice. Yeah, so when do I talk about what I should have done? <laughs> In the wrap up. <laughs> uh. Next up is Andre's dice. Andre's gonna have uh, uh, Stevens and the howitzer fire at the side of the armored car, in the three. That's a hit. That's, that's a three. Yep, so. That's two threes, that's a double hit. It's a plus three, plus one for a side shot. So four against seven. That's a penetrating hit. Penetrating or double? Uh, so you're, you're a four, four against plus seven five is nine. Or so seven. You need so plus three. Okay, so you need just a, a single. Single. That's truly cocked. So he's on fire. <laughs> so he takes two pins, and Steve, you have to do a morale test at minus two. So need a seven. Steve seven passes, to, uh, but you do take two pins. Fires out. Says fire, yeah, he's on fire. <laughs> fire, fire. <laughs> but it is two pins, so. Next die. It's another one of the Americans. He spot the bazooka. He's gonna. He's got point blank within this thing. He's gonna need a three to hit. It's a hit. So it's a five, I believe. Against seven. He's rolled a five. That's a double. That's a double pin. It's dead. He's blowed up the thing. Whatever you're called, rest in peace. And the dice comes out of the bag for it. And next die. Great job. Oh, you already pulling on it? I was going to put something bigger on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make it look more impressive. Another American it's like dice. Wow. Porter is going to fire it the, again, these guys. No! And he got a one. Finally. Uh, and he went down. That was the time that... Uh, time I should have... Should have <laughs> not gone down. Should have just faced me to take a die Yeah, faced the one inch template. Alright, next die. It's another American die.
Andre's going to have a snap to him and uh, Olivier, uh, Captain Dan, on to their hammer. Ooh, oh, insane well, you, get, you get two more shots, Andre. Why? Because they each have a submachine gun. Oh, even though they're not in six inches? Yeah, the submachine guns are always... Uh, oh, they just weren't in point blank. Yeah. Oh, cool. So you got three total hits on their hammer. Alrighty. Eight and fives. One down and a pin, which is important. Yeah, ain't good enough. So they're down to four dudes now. Might as well take the guy, the non wizzywig guy out, yeah. <laughs> Tell me how many more confusion. So they're down to one a guy. To the objective. <laughs> yeah. Next die, it's another American die. Okay, Thornhill, who was sacked up here, has now run through here towards the objectives. Next die, it's one of Steve's. Kopke's advanced up. He's going to fire over here at Thornhill. He does have a gap for the buzzsaw through here. Soft cover. Need the sixes. Nothing. Ooh, nothing. Not even. And you have that soft cover, Andre. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I'll send you a couple hits. That's another one of Steve's. Pack 40 fire at what's left of Wallace's squad. Needing a six, though. Small team. Not a six. Or miss. Another one of Steve's. Kowski has went, he's went around the hedge, but so he ran. I would say he, was, he could have fired these guys, but he ran. So he can't fire. Another one of Steve's. Which the last thing is this car here. It will stay put. Andre's going to rally Wallace's guys. What'd so you, that's a pass. What'd you get? Six. Yeah. So D6 more pins. What do you mean? You're out. Are you doing an order? Yeah. Oh, an order to. Okay, I'm sorry. Rallying doesn't. I thought uh, you were rallying them. Oh, we got places to be. Okay, so he's just straight up passing an order. So they're gonna have two pins left. Two pins and twelve inches. Sounds like a t-shirt. <laughs> two pins and twelve inches. And then Wallace and his one guy left, his BAR, will just move up to the garage. Is there any dice left? Nope. Okay, that's it for turn four. Top of turn five, Andre's at eight dice, Steve's at seven. No one left anything on the board. No ambushes on the board, huh? No, nope. well, these guys are still at four pins. You want to leave those guys down? I guess you would move D3 pins if you did that. Oh, this is a, pretty much the last turn. Turn five. Yeah. This turn five. There's one more after this. I they do have time to rally and still charge the objective in the next turn. I think I'm going to leave them okay. un, undown. <laughs> undown. Undown. <laughs> they are undown. Okay. And we start off with the Americans. All right, so Andre's going to start off, hold on, Steve, with uh, Thornhill assaulting their hammer. He's just within 12, but he's going to get some shooting hard cover long range. So he needs sixes, Steve, to on the way in here. Got one. If you can kill a guy, that would be <laughs> very. I handy. got a pin on it, so now you're only running eleven. So nothing but a pin. All right, so we'll go ahead and move in and get ready for the assault. Thornhill's up here, so he's going to go first. Eight shots. Can I whiff twice in a row? Green Steve or tough thinks fighters. so. Oh. Uh, no. Whiff on everything both, but the two tough both fighters. Tough, both tough fighters hit. Wow. That's for That was something. So the two tough fighters hit, which means you're going to lose two guys, Steve. It doesn't have to roll to kill him? No, nope. I just did. That is the roll to kill him. Oh, it is? Oh. Yeah, so probably want to take out your flamer, I'm guessing, so you can keep your t yeah, tough we'll keep fighters. Yeah, we'll keep the tough fighters. All right, so the one flamer comes out. There's only one guy there, so that means you lose another guy. It means you're down to two tough fighters. No, don't. Do your tough fighters roll the second time? If, if, they, you, if get you get a hit. If you get a hit, then they roll again. That's the new tough fighters. But I was thinking roll. about yeah, you missed. Andre's tough fighters. Yeah, he hit with both, so he rolled them again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So they're dead. So Thornhill has taken out Leech and the Dur Hammer. All right, well, he got a four inch consolidation movie to move towards the objective, so Dur Hammer is no more. They were the MVP. They still are. Posthumous. I'm pretty sure they will be. <laughs> Next die, uh, it's one of Steve's. All right. 
Steve failed the order with the armored car, so it just reversed back. Another American die. Uh, I know, that's a whole bunch of American dice. Oh, he's going to snap two with Captain Dan. Mortar. Mortar, he's not going down with McInnes. <laughs> he can't. He took the down off, so there's no point in going down now. Oh, it's a hit. Darn. So what do we say? That was four hits? Three. Three hits. Plus one, so even threes. Only got two of them. Two dead. And D2 more pins. One more pin. So you're up to five pins. The old five pin ambush is... Yeah, but <laughs> he's not fun. down. <laughs> he's not down. Next die? Uh, yes. Oh, that was the first of the snap twos. We had uh, Wallace and his guy pass the order with the captain. Plus three there. Lost it. He's down to one pin now. The BAR has line of sight. He's going to fire. Five. Six. <laughs> He whiffed. Wallace whiffed. That's not good. Uh, Next die. No, yeah. Oh, okay. another. <laughs> no, yeah, that's right. The snap two, they just keep Next on coming. Die. Uh, got Hawks in the half track is advanced up. And, and the machine gun's pointing out the back that I don't have? There, yeah. The non existent machine gun is facing the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> but the cannon, the cannon's going to. Cox's cannon is going to fire at Cocky. He's not going down. Steve's living by his they might miss strategy. Ooh! And he does. Lives. He does live because it's a three and he needed a four for moving. Nice job, Steve. So that's and that one. So, so we got one more. he's the only one left. Yep. Well, the uh, intelligence officer is his own dice, technically. Technically, he can't fire when Co or when Captain Dan fires. But can he move with them? He could. Yeah. That, and that's, then he can fire that's after? That's confusing. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All it says is he's attached to a unit. Whatever the hell that means, I have no idea. He's got his own dice, but he's attached. We'll just... Uh, so if anyone can explain that to us, we'll fall be back very like appreciative of that. That and get within three so right. that we're... Uh, Claiming the objective. We're good there. And right, so that's it for the snap too, right? And uh, yes, we've snapped. We're done snapping. That was pretty snappy. That was very snappy. Except for the whiff on the cannon. Yeah, it's another American die. Which means he's got the uh, howitzer. Is that it? No, you got your no, bazooka. I got my bazooka. Yeah. Which could take out the car, out. but do I really care at this point? That's another dice down. Never a bad thing to lower your opponent's So dice. can I shoot that gap? Uh... No. Well, indirect, yes. Direct fire, no. It's a little too, too close for You can't cannon. see them indirect. The spotters can't see them. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So Steven's artillery can do nothing. He's back there. He can't shoot the gap. He's too close for indirect, so he can't do anything. And then one of Steve's dice came out. Okay, we're going to start off here. Kopke's boy is advanced up. He's going to fire both Panzerfaust at this, and then everything else is going to go into Wallace. So the two Panzerfausts right here. That's too small. Even threes. Aperture. I can't get it in there. You can do it. He got one hit. Okay, so plus six. Ten. A ten. It's a seven. So that's a double pen. Hold on. You got a double pen on it. It's dead. Kaboom! Nice job. Nice real action movie that's finale two, here. That's two uh, vehicles Steve's taking out Panzerfaust in this game. It's probably the most in the last 10 games combined. Alright, so the rest, uh, we got S, um, assault rifles onto Wallace. Eating three. There's three. Three hits. Hits. We got. Uh, SMGs and even fours? Or these are the, uh, this is the uh, uh, LMG. LMG. Even fours. That's two, two more. And you got one rifle needing a four as well. All right, so, so that's five. Five wounds. Five hits onto Wallace, needing fives. You got one. One. So roll that again. Four ones. <laughs> four ones. Okay. So one guy dies, Andre. It's either Wallace or your BAR. Wallace has an SMG. And you take another pin, you gotta take a morale test. So he took out the BAR, he left Wallace. Morale test. But you got, got your captain morale. here, yeah. 
Captain, my captain. Just a box cars is all you need. No whiff. I see yeah, a three, you're, you're good. <laughs> I see a three, it can't be... Uh, There's more stuff in there. <laughs> oh, that's the garage door. All right. All right. So good job there with Kopke's boys. So, so next, did I take a pin? Yeah, I already put it on there. Okay. Uh, next die. Not bad. Would have been more up if he could take out Wallace, but what the hell. He still took out the tank and killed the vet. And another one of Steve's. Shots. Pankowski is advanced up. He's going to try to finish Wallace off. Um, in, small team. In three or four. Right? Within nine, right? So. Yeah, it's got to be within nine. Yeah, we're okay. good. So, yeah, so no movement penalty. So just fours. Yeah, Whoa. three of them. Okay, all he needs is a five on one of these. Yep. Wallace is toast. Nice job there. Combo of uh, Kopke and Lankowski have taken out the AT half track and Wallace. It's coming down to the wire. That's one of Andre's. <laughs> the uh, Olivier, the intelligence officer, is going on ambush. We're still trying to figure out how that works. Uh, another one of Andre's. Then the last ones are Steve's. Uh, the bazooka's moved up. He's going to take a shot at it's the, uh, small team, man. the wagon here. And the four. It's a one. It's not a four. So the bazooka missed. But this is something you got to worry about, Steve, is he's going to be able to try to Hell contest yeah, that bro. objective. And then the last three are Steve's, which leaves him these guys over here with uh, McKinnis, the pack 40. You got one thing left. So if I move, no I'm moving at minus five. Oh, in the truck. No. Or is that chain of command? No, you're not. No, you'd have to pass a five pin order. Right. <laughs> yeah. So start off with rallying uh, these guys, McKinnis' boys, which they do. So it's one minus, come on, go down to four. four. One D6, right? Mm -hmm. can go yep. down to two. Three, so you're down to one. One pin. Down to one. And then he has the Pack 40 and the car left. Pack 40, what the hell can he even do here? We can shoot the... The howitzer. The howitzer probably needs it. Yeah, because the howitzer can fire now because this thing's dead. <laughs> he doesn't care if he takes it out anymore. So yeah, firing howitzer at the or the pack forty at the howitzer. Long six, range, right? soft cover. Five. It's a miss. Damn it. Okay. And the, the car. He's just gonna drive up and run that guy over. Car shock. <laughs> I'd probably back up at least just to get it. Yeah, you sure. don't want to be taken out. Just... No, I mean like back there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if it's taken out at this point. I'd rather use him as, as cover. I guess that's true. I mean, it would be at the end of the... T well, I don't know. You're going to lose him either way. I'm not losing him. He's right next to them. Okay. He'll lose him next turn, but who cares? Yeah, he's going to be cover. All right. And that'll be it for turn five. Now we move on to the last turn. Top of six. Here we go. Andre should have saved it. Of course, I don't even know if he cares if he gets Why? the first dice at this point. I'm, I'm like, well, what would you do with the first die here? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you got it anyway. You fire your howitzer. The howitzer. So now the howitzer don't care if this thing's here. Hopefully we don't hit Is it. Steve going to... Live by his, they might miss. Wait, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> gonna, can, I, can, I measure, can I measure the distance of the objective? Think, as soon as you move there. I think you're more than three. As soon as the game ends, yes. I think you're more than three. Because this is the last turn, right? So it is yeah, the last we're turn. We're on six. All right, I can't go down then. You can't go down. You're going to kill some guys. All right, Andre. Boom! Oh, it's a hit with the three-inch template. That's not Ouch. good. That, is, that could be the end of the game for Steve. That is a lucky hit. All of them. The whole squad. Kopke's entire squad is hit by the. It's the second squad of medium house. Just obliterated by a fucking house. <laughs> yeah. MVP. Who made this list? Me. <laughs> oh. Wow. Three uh, butts. So it's anything but. Yeah. So he's three so guys. He only lost, lost six. He only lost six dudes. So D three pins. Two pins. Two pins. And a morale test, but you do have Lankowski there for a plus one on this roll. Keeping his machine gun. You're not keeping but your you NCO? Oh, yeah. That's a minus one if you yeah. don't. Oh, yeah. Let's keep that guy. That would be smart. 
So machine gun and NCO are staying, and we did do our morale test at minus one because of the officer. I see oh, a one. He's fine. Got a seven. Okay. So he stick. They stick around. They took a hit, and they're still in the game. Next guy. Bet they're regular, right? They're regulars. Another American. Andre just had. So that was the captain. Uh, Captain Klein. Oh. He did not snap Actually, to. he's... Or did you want to snap to? Yeah. Okay. He will snap to. So, Andre, roll, roll he rolled off camera. But he did hit with the mortar. But it was a sick... He only did anything but... But Steve <laughs> did not go down. Uh, so it's going to be... Looks like two guys this time. Two guys, Andre. So it's only plus one. So he didn't get anybody. But, but you do get D3 pins, or D2 pins. One pin, so they're up to nothing two. Nothing but a pin? A light mortar, yeah, I'm not impressed. Why don't you take a light mortar when you, you take a heavy, heavy mortar? <laughs> I don't think that was Who an option. made this list? <laughs> now they're complaining about my lists. Uh, another American. Well, you still got more snap twos, Andre. No. Oh, that was it? Okay. Um... Well, the only other... You could have done those Yeah, guys, but, but okay. I don't want to do them yet. All right. He's putting <laughs> a intelligence officer Olivier on ambush. Which is weird, because he moved with him, and then he gets to go on ambush. <laughs> this whole attached thing is very confusing. <laughs> Please, somebody explain what the hell that means to us. One of Steve's. Yeah, they're going to... they got to do it. Try to pass an order. It's a two-pin. Two-pinner, no problem. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Insane yeah. heroism. Okay, the, after passing the order, I keep forgetting who this is. Uh, McKinnis has advanced up. He's going to fire at the bazooka. He hasn't done anything all game. <laughs> He's just down the whole game. So the LMG first needing fives. Oh, hell. Oh, wow. wow. Okay, so you got two SMG shots needing fives as well. Missed again, and one rifle shot. Again. Okay, well, they totally whiffed. That sucks. That's a useless, uh, useless, that really uh, sucks. And we, they had such promise going from inexperience to, to you know, regular. They're passing a deep in order. First time. <laughs> Next die. Well, they should be very well rested, if nothing else. <laughs> Another one of Steve's, which he's got Mankowski, he's got Kopke, he's got his pack 40. I think that's. In the wagon. Much. Oh, and then the car, yeah. So he's going to move Lankowski over block the objective okay that's cool because now he's got to decide here so the bazooka could be the hero or it could die so you got two assault rifles there steve are you within six looks like it yes so it's just small team so threes, threes and fours threes two shots each it's three plus one for small team right minus one for point blank Ooh, four hits. That's four hits. And even nothing but vibes. A oh yeah. Oh man. Bazooka destroyed. So good job for Lankowski. So that's gonna seal that one for the Americans. I mean for the Germans. So next die. Shit, Andre still got his armored car over there. That's huh? Andre still, I mean, uh, Steve still got his armored <laughs> car over there. I'm like, I'm Andre's like, armored car. Really? It's coming in from reserve. Oh, crap. One of Andre's. Really? Is that your last one? Yes. So that means that's Thornhill. That's probably game. We'll see what happens. Thornhill's squad is advanced up. He's got some uh, point blank. So I got four point blank? Yeah. Four point blank shots. That's all hits. And then he's got uh, four, six shots in three threes. One, two, They're all three. hits. Wow. Every single shot is a hit. And it's going on to three regular dudes. This is it for the Germans, I'm afraid. Unless there's an epic whiff. Uh, no, he just got three. <laughs> Hopkins squad. I tried to epic out. whiff. Hopkins squad is wiped out. Okay, uh, next die. I don't know if Actually, there's I anything that's Steve that's can game, do. Yeah, because... Good, good game, guys. All right. We'll come back and wrap it up. Okay, here to wrap it up. So, 
Andre won. He's got the center objective. He's got his objective. Steve's got his objective. And it really came down to uh, Thornhill, who originally we thought was out of the game being over here, but he was able to get his way over here. Took out their hammer. So as far as MVP goes, I would... It's, I don't know, it's a toss-up, Andre, between your howitzer and it's Thornhill. howitzer. Howitzer, howitzer took out two squads. Out two complete squads. Yeah. Yeah. Out of three. Yeah. And Pretty it's rough. about infantry in these claiming objective games. So, yeah. Yeah. Howitzer. And then Steve's MVP... Their hammer probably. I mean, the hammer was good. That last squad that with the Panzer Faust that ran up and almost claimed the objective. And that was a, that, they did pretty good, Copkey's boys. But I have to give it the to the reserves uh, that uh, refused their to come in for two turns. <laughs> Which turned out to be probably, probably a good thing. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But yeah, it was a good game. This uh, the mission's fun. Having the pincer move with you know on each side and then the defenders in the middle. I like that deployment type. I think that's really, uh, really a good, good idea, and it led to a pretty good game. Um, well, we pretty much blew up almost all the armor. I think we did. No, still got. Oh, the armored armor. car it was over mostly there. Mostly blowed up. He failed the order. I don't know. That might have made a difference. That could have made a difference, but Andre was down to one squad. He lost his other two squads. Yeah, I mean, squad wise, we're down. Steve's down to these. what's left of this squad. That was the green squad and his officer. Andre's down to his officer. Well, the mortar. But yeah, was, Steve was kicking ass with the Panzerfausts. The bazooka kicks some ass, too. Yeah, all the AT, portable AT stuff really did well in this game. So it was a great game. I thought it was going to be a blowout at one time, but uh, I don't know. Did you screw up or did Steve just... I can't remember. It was more kind of Steve up. was started not rolling crappy. You had one really bad roll. I don't remember what it was, but it was over by the restaurant where he didn't... Oh, oh didn't, it was The total width. It didn't hit a single. Yeah. yeah. Well, that cost me the Sherman. It was 10 shots with the Sherman on the Durhammer, and he whiffed. But, yeah, but I don't... I can't remember if that would have... The one pin I don't think would have saved the Sherman. I think he still well, lost it. I, you know, I should have taken out two or three guys. Yeah, right. Um, you know, the pin would have been, you know, was nice, but, I mean... <laughs> You're looking for kills. Should have been at least a couple of dudes down there. And, okay, I trade a couple of guy after hammers for the Sherman. Um, you know, at least your hammer's easier to deal with. And then when one. you assault the Dur hammer with Shea, you might have won. Yeah. Because they would have had less dudes. Yeah, so that that well, was a that was a whiff. And I, when shots. Shea assaulted, and we talked off camera, but I should have uh, done the snap too. I could right. have softened them up with a bunch of shooting first yeah um but it's uh partly it's hot partly <laughs> it's really i was hot. just doing so well it's like you know yeah i'm gonna win this assault they're out in the open i'm assaulting a unit in the open that just vaporizes units in bolt action yeah um, unless you whiff which you did which well i think what i forgot is everybody's veteran out here so Ah, I only had one veteran. Here. <laughs> well, that Connect. was the one I was uh, veteran on veteran. Yeah. Yeah, vet on vet. If you know, because it would have made a huge difference. Um, you know, needing fours instead of fives on that roll. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, vets are hard. Yeah, vets are hard to take uh, out. Your uh, light mortar, some uh, some love too, because for a forty point unit or whatever that is, it kept these guys <laughs> pinned out pinned them the out. game. And they they were a problem. I mean. If you could have been firing on my unit lined up against the wall as a firing squad, I mean... Yeah, it would have been a long-range firefight. You would have been stuck there. Oh, I'd have lost that. My veterans against inexperienced, I'd have lost it. Um, Maybe. Well, except they went to regular. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I would take the, uh, the regulars in the uh, hardcover versus veterans in the open. Yeah. The problem that Steve kept forget he kept staying... well. You should have stayed down in between turns and been able to pull pins, and you probably could have done more, got him out of the barrage. But we keep forgetting that, so. Well, I actually didn't forget that because I wanted to. Well, once they were ranged in, yeah, that was a mistake. But until they were ranged in, there was no. Yeah. No well, problem. but it also gives you, you know, putting them down. It, you know, you know, you're wasting a turn. But at a certain point, once I was ranged in, it was like, yeah, you know, you're going to be going down with them. Well, that's what frustrated Stay me. Unfortunately, it worked out in my favors because you got that snap two die. Your mortar hadn't gone, so if I had gotten the next die, 
those guys would have moved. Yeah. And then yep. you end up, you end yep. up yep. snapping yep. two and shooting again. The snap two is a big deal on this with the captain. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's four dice of stuff going I on. I usually don't use the snap two very much, if at all, just because... Guys, not that congested. Well, it's usually, yeah. It's so like, you're usually just, you know, ordering one other unit, which yeah. is how's that different from just giving them the order dice? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, with just one, with a second or the first or a second lieutenant, it's not. But with the it's, captain and the 12 inch range, it, it suddenly becomes meaningful. It's really good. And yeah, it made a huge. There were at least. Well, I think I snapped two, three different times. I think so. In this one, and at least two of those, it was super meaningful because. You know, if you snap two on a first die, now, you know, you've got the first four dice. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And being able to start with a captain and not having to bring the lieutenant is super awesome. And that's one of the things that the Rangers can do in this in this uh, theater. What do you mean? He does have a lieutenant with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. That intelligence officer attached thing, is a, it's a mess. It's like no one knows what the hell that means. But, you know, in this case, he got to move and then go on ambush. How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's weird. It's weird. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, it's a good game. It turned into a great game. I thought it was going to be a walkover at first, but then it turned into a good game. So anyway, that'll be it for this one. So thanks to Steve and Andre for coming over. Thanks for hosting. Thanks for all the guys that were hanging on the live stream, helping us with the rules as usual. Uh, these guys are always uh, very valuable to us as we're not very good at the rules sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. And, uh, yeah, so check out our social media stuff, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Check out our Patreon if you want to help the channel out and support what we do here. Check out our channel sponsors are in the uh, description of the video. And with that, let us know what you guys think, and we'll see you next time.